Hi guys, it's Jeff from Swift Tech Reviews. So the other day, someone emailed me and informed me that Blue released another phone. So of course I went to Amazon and picked it up. I picked up the Blue Studio C 2015. And after using the Blue Studio C for a couple of hours yesterday, I realized that it's going to go back to Amazon. Here's why. Okay, so like I said, I've only had this phone for one day, and it's definitely going back to Amazon because I feel it's misleading. You know, Blue tried to make it out to be this super awesome phone with, you know, this super 3,000 milliamp hour battery. It's like, but that doesn't matter when th the display is super low quality and the hardware sucks. It feels cheap, and it looks really cheap. Like, do you want, do you really want people to know that you're using a cheap phone? It's like, no, even just because it's cheap doesn't mean that it has to look that way. And if this phone is $100, why not spend the extra $20 and get the Studio X or the Studio X Plus for $150? And they also have better performance, even though the specs are essentially the same. So the Studio X and the Studio Studio C are running the same 1.3 GHz processor with 1 GB of RAM, 5 inch uh, 720p display, but the Studio and the Studio X do it so much better. I don't have a Studio X, but I have a Studio X Plus, which is essentially the same thing, just a bigger display. So I don't know if you can tell, but the display on the Studio C on the right looks very hollow. Like, you can tell there's layering between the display and the, the glass. You can't really see that on the Studio X, and that's why I like the Studio X. It also feels better in the hand, and yes, it's heavy, but because the surface is larger, you don't really care about how heavy it feels because it's a bigger phone. The Studio C does have that large 3000 mAh battery, which I can show you. It's right there, it's non-removable and it does have dual SIM slots and a micro SD card slot expandable up to 64 gigs but it feels heavy and I think because the plastics that were used feel so cheap, you notice the heft a lot more on the Studio C and it doesn't make for a very good solid phone. That's my personal opinion. Other people may say something differently, but I just feel that, you know, it is unacceptable. Even at $99, Blue is a company that makes super awesome phones like the Vivo 4 and the Vivo Air that are cheap and just look really good. Why can't that translate over into any of their other devices? I'm pretty sure they could make something like uh, a Vivo Air that's stunning but also make it $100. I mean, the Vivo Air is only $199 right now with just slightly better specs, so why can't they play on that instead of making these super cheap to look at phones that are dull and lackluster? So, the Blue Studio X and the Studio C are running the same 1.3 GHz processor, and the, the Studio C does it so much worse in terms of lag. Look at that. Did you see that? And it may be hard to tell, but look at the transition. You see how slow it is compared to the Studio X? It's swift. This I can scroll my finger across it, but yet it's still it's really slow. And I don't know why because they're running at the essentially same hardware. And this is just bogged down. And and by what? It's essentially running stock Android. When I first booted up the phone, it was running the Google Play, uh, the Google Now launcher. It's like, that's one of the fastest launchers out there because it has no bloat. And there's not a lot of that stuff that would slow it down in it, and that's why I like to use it. But here, it's still slow. And I'm sorry, but I feel that's extremely unacceptable. Especially when you can buy something like the Studio X or the Studio X Plus for just around the same price, if not $20 more. Now, just out of comparisons, I have a BlackBerry Leap that I got the day before I got the Studio X. And it has the same 
um, display size and battery capacity, but because the um, the hardware on the BlackBerry feels better, I don't notice that it's heavier. Instead of here, you got the really cheap hollow plastics, and I just feel that's that's not good. So I think this is definitely a phone that you should pass over if you're in the market for a new budget phone, because there are plenty of other ones out there, like I said, like the Studio X, that do it so much better for just a little bit more. So if you can kick out that extra 20 bucks, please do. If not, save your money and go elsewhere. You know, even buying a phone from a couple of years ago would probably do better than this. I would suggest um, a Galaxy S2 or 3 if you can find one. Even though the displays are smaller, they do the job so much better. And you'll probably appreciate it more. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this quick review of the Blue Studio C 2015. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, I have a link right there. Um, be sure to subscribe to my blog at uh, swifttechreviews.com and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash swifttechreviews.